Well, 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 it seems like every other month, it's another celeb homemade sex tape being exposed. This month, it's Love & Hip Hop's very own Tierra Marie. She has been exposed by her ex-boyfriend, I want to say. He logged into her Instagram account and posted up very explicit videos of her performing, you know, these acts. And um, he also posts pictures and everything all onto her Instagram account. Now, y'all know I like to show y'all footage, but this right here is something that I'm not even going to post. But if you want to see it, you can definitely find it on Twitter by searching Tierra Marie. Don't tell nobody I told you. But um, yeah, anyways, she decided to respond to all of this by giving a statement and saying that she wanted to pursue charges and that, you know, revenge porn is not okay. Here's the statement that she released on her Instagram. She said, recently, my social media was compromised by someone who I felt deserving of my love and trust. That person proved to be untrustworthy and posted footage of what in the moment was private and sacred. Moving forward, I recognize the need to be more cautious and discerning. My hope is for women to remain strong and dignified when they find themselves having to address hateful and juvenile acts by former lovers who find it difficult to act in an adult manner. Revenge porn is a crime in California and I will be in pursuit of justice. I mean, get your justice, TT. I think that it's totally jacked up that men can't be men. Tierra Marie then posted a picture of Milan Christopher. He was also on Love and Hip Hop a few seasons ago. She posted a, a picture of him, and in the caption, she said, The fact that this is the only person that stood up for me, thank you for having my back. I really love you at Milan Christopher and Gianni G Money CMB. Thank you for having my back through the good and the bad. This too shall pass. Then Jess Hilarious decided to chime in on this same post, and she said, I love you, T. B, we done all got freaky. You were just exposed, that's all. So was I, and so was some of the fucking greats. So what? People are gonna sit behind their fucking phones and try to make you feel as low as you can possibly feel, but in person will beg you for a fucking picture. Remember that. And then she has to, you know, chime in and give her a little critique and say, bitch, nut is healthy anyway. You were supposed to swallow it. <laughs> um, what she's referring to is one of the photos that leaked is a photo of her having come all over her face. Yeah, it's, it's a very graphic photo. But anyway, so that's what she's talking about saying like, you know, it shouldn't be on your face anyways. It should be swallowed. Y'all get it. Okay, so when all of this start happening, everybody start thinking it was a guy that Tierra Marie was dating by the name of Akbar. M-D-E Akbar, I don't know, that's his Instagram name, whatever. So a lot of people start thinking that it was him. So apparently he's trying to tell Tierra, like, no, it wasn't me, and you need to call your ex who leaked it. So I don't know if he's her recent ex and they're talking about her ex, ex, ex. I don't know, man, it's, it's kind of confusing. But here is a video of Tierra Marie in his bed and they're talking about, you know, calling the ex. You calling your ex who leaked it? Mm-hmm, I'm gonna ask him and then leak it. Yeah, your ex leaked it, don't blame it on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got everybody thinking it's me. Tell the truth. Lying, you a liar. You lying. Ask him. You calling your ex who leaked it? Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask him and then look it. Yeah, your ex leaked it. Don't blame it on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got everybody thinking it's me. Tell the truth. Lying, you a liar. You lying. Ask him. So apparently that's Tierra Marie that's laying in his bed. If you zoom in on the picture, you can see that she has this blonde curly hair. And all of her recent pictures that she's been posting as of a day ago, her hair is in this blonde curly wavy look. Um, after people started thinking that it was him, they started swarming to his comment section, you know, calling him corny, calling him a fuckboy, calling him every name out of the book because they did not appreciate him exposing her. So apparently, I guess he's saying that he didn't expose her. So I'm like, dang, so who did expose her? Like, what's going on? Like, if she laying in your bed, the photos was leaked onto her personal Instagram. Somebody had to log in and it's easy to do it from the phone like say she sleep or something upload it from the phone and and do it like that if it wasn't you then who was it and how'd they get her instagram stuff i don't know man and it just seems kind of fishy as you can see she's calling him a liar in the video so i don't know i feel like if she landed in his bed and and it was accusations of somebody she loved and you know how 
I mean, it don't seem like it would be too hard for somebody to be sleep. They make you mad and you up, you get their phone and then you upload something. But hey, he's saying it's not him. She's saying she's going to call the ex. Um, I don't know how the ex would get her Instagram password and information. Okay, and before somebody hop in my comment section talking about how you know he uploaded it from her phone and she was asleep. I'm saying I don't know. And it's sad that I have to clarify these things, but I don't know means just that. I don't know. I'm just guessing as to how something could happen in a possible scenario of something that could have went down. But you know, for the slow people, I gotta, you know, I gotta emphasize certain things because it's always that one person in my in my comment section, like, how you gonna say this? And I'm like, dude, didn't you hear me say I don't, I don't, I'm guessing, like I don't know, like I'm but I'm just saying like I whatever. Anyways, I'm just gonna have to sit back and wait and watch this whole thing unfold. But let me give a message to the young girls, though. All jokes aside, let me let me speak to the young girls and give you guys a message because I know some of my subscribers may be young, and I just want to let you guys know that it's time to stop letting these guys record you doing these types of acts. I know that you may feel like, you know, you love somebody, you want to get freaky with them, but in the generation of let me expose you, expose this, expose that, people get mad, people get in their feelings, they want to, you know, show all the dirt that they have on you i feel like certain moments such as sexual acts should be left off of cameras you know that's just something that no matter how much you trust somebody you really can't trust anybody in this whole day and era because everybody is quick to get in their feelings get on their phone want to want to expose you period so my message to the young girls is you know what i'm saying you get your due you do whatever you want to do you have fun but leave the cameras off Turn them off because it seems like every other month another person is being exposed. It was just J Black China a few months ago and then now here it is Tia Marie. And I mean, it just goes on and on and on. The list of celebrities at this point who have been exposed by these homemade freaky videos is like ongoing and it's, it's ridiculous. So that should let you guys know that nobody is safe. Just because you don't have a big platform doesn't mean you can't be blasted and played plastered over social media i mean it's it's clearly ridiculous like what happened to taking the high road in certain situations like this like okay that person no f with me i don't f with them and keep it pushing like why does these personal moments have to be put out on social media these things always seem to find their way on the internet. And I know like you should have personal private moments that you want to share between you and a mate. But in this day and era, I'm just saying to you guys, just stop letting men record y'all, period. If they can't take a mental note, put it on a sticky note in their brain, then I mean, that's just going to have to be their problem. Some, some young girls might think like, oh, you know, I, I wouldn't care, but you got to think about your future. You got to think about like, if you don't have kids already, when you do have kids, is that something that you want your child to see online? Is that how you want to be represented 10 years from now, uh, 15 years from now, when you decide to elevate in your career and move up? Like you have to be very cautious of things like that. Let me know what you guys think about this whole fiasco. Let's talk about it in the comments. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more celebrity news and gossip. But in order to do that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. Also, check the links in my description box. It has a link to my social media. And also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post these videos. All right, guys. Peace.